Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been a quiet night here in Central Texas. Skies partly to mostly clear right now. Still watching showers and thunderstorms to our north. Eventually, they may make a turn and head down toward us. But again, they're going to be much, much weaker uh, when they make that turn and if they even do. But let's say. Uh, take you uh, through uh, what's going on right now. Again, quiet conditions across the central part of the state. The showers and thunderstorms have been firing and some of these thunderstorms have been producing not only baseball size hail, but also tornadoes around the Wichita Falls area and north and west of Wichita Falls. Another heading over toward the Bowie area. Some very, very strong winds in this. A lot of this has been moving off to the east at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Again, so that's going to be uh, taking it just north of the metro at least that's how it appears at this time. There is a severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect for that region, and you can see why with those showers and thunderstorms, and that runs until 2 o'clock in the morning. Once again, well to our north, and we're going to watch some of those showers and storms try to sag a little bit farther down to the south here. But as we'll show you, our cap on top of us is very, very strong, so it's really keeping uh, most of us high and dry. It is 85 degrees right now in Waco, 84 Temple, as well as Colleen. It is 80 in Mahay and a little bit cooler over toward the Palestine area at 76 degrees. So let me show you our future cast once again, trying to throw on some spotty showers and some isolated thunder. Most of the activity is to the north. So again, it's uh, I think uh, going to be falling apart here as it runs into a stronger cap. And you notice what happens overnight and early tomorrow morning. We're just looking at mostly cloudy skies. So my chances of any showers and thunderstorms overnight, about a 30% chance right now. So odds are we'll stay dry here in our area. Temperatures though will be in the 70s to start as we go throughout the day on Saturday, mostly cloudy skies to partly cloudy skies and temperatures should climb to around 90 degrees or so here in Waco. So not looking too bad. If you do have outdoor activities planned for the weekend, Saturday is going to be the dry day. As you will see, Sunday is going to be the wet day. So uh, try to get all of it in on Saturday if you can. And you'll notice what will happen late Saturday into early Sunday. We're going to watch a line of showers and some isolated thunderstorms move in. And like I said, some of these may be dropping some heavier rainfall and produce some gusty winds. And as we go throughout the day on Sunday, we're going to kind of see a little wrap around. That's an upper level storm system, an area low pressure that's a cutoff from the jet stream. That's going to just sit and wobble and spin not only on Sunday, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There's nothing to really push it away you know, like a trough or like a ridge or even a front. And that's why we've got to keep this rain that we've got in the forecast here on just about every day. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Tonight, though, increasing clouds. We're going to see those clouds move in. Just a 30% chance of a shower or thunderstorm overnight. But if we happen to see one, though, they could be a little bit on the strong side. There were some stronger winds and some small hail. 72 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Little sunshine will break out. And again, just a 30% chance. Not a big deal. South winds at 10 to 20. Now, as we look ahead here, here's your Memorial Day weekend forecast. We start to bring in that rain. And like I said, look at Sunday. A 60% chance of scattered showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Memorial Day looks wet. So again, be ready to move inside if you have anything that's planned outside like a picnic because there's a pretty good chance that we'll see rain. And again, if you don't see rain, you may see some soggy conditions from some showers that have moved through. And take a look at the forecast here. You hate to do that, but we've got a chance of showers and thunderstorms just about every day. Doesn't mean it's going to rain all day and it doesn't mean everybody's going to see it. But parts of the day will be wet. High temperatures only in the upper 70s to lower 80s. So much cooler weather. Nighttime lows will be in the 60s and 70s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Kind of the same story. Just keep the rain gear handy. Temperatures in the 80s for highs. Lows will be in the 70s. And it looks like, Adam, by the end of the week, some of those uh, computer models that take care of uh, forecasting how much rainfall we see are printing out three to six inches of rain by the end of the week. That's all said and done, so that could cause some flooding problems, so we'll watch it.